top stories tonight. It's Dante Steele, Volt News Network. The governor of Massachusetts declares a state of emergency, but not over what you might think. Maura Healy created the state of emergency due to surge of migrants. Calls for federal action, says there are 20,000 people in state system. New York City is filled with migrants sleeping on the streets, taking the city's homeless problem to new heights. The city has suggested giving them free hotel accommodations under refugee status or allowing them to construct tents in Central Park. Lawsuits filed over two major developments. Joe Biden's student loan relief plans were met with legal challenges, including the Cato Institute and Mackinac Center for Public Policy filing suit against the administration for its planned action. And multiple firms, including Bidadans, have filed suit challenging Montana's decision to ban the sale of TikTok in their state. Both sides of this story have strong arguments. We'll see you in court. In financial news, Moody states it has banks under review for credit ratings of six large U.S. banks, including State Street, Bank of New York Mellon, and Northern Trust, for a possible downgrade, sending stocks tumbling as investors worried about more banking worries as we have already seen the collapse of giants like Silicon Valley Bank this year. The Supreme Court has put through a 5-4 motion to follow the Biden administration's request legislation on so-called ghost guns. A temporary victory for gun control advocates, though legal challenges continue. The legal argument states that the guns being untraceable and self-built opened the door to crime for too many individuals. The divided opinion will be under challenge review, and Mike Pence has qualified for the first Republican presidential debate, fueling speculation about a potential primary challenge against Donald Trump. This concludes your nightly stories. I'm Dante Steele, Volt News Network. Good night.